here we have the uh, Republic P43 Lancer from Dora Wings in 148 scale. Um, it's a nice box art. And if this kit is anything like the uh, It was a, uh, what did I, what did I build from Dora Wings? It was a French. <laughs> I don't remember, but it was a nice kit. Oh yeah, it was a Marcel Block MB-151. Um, yeah, it was a nice kit. And I expected this one to be similar. Similar to the I guess that box art looks good. Let's see if I can get it open here. Nice resealable bag. So, here we are. You have <coughs> the decals. They're nice, and they look in register, and the colors look pretty good. You have separate dots for the stars. Here on this side, we have uh, some photo etched. What's this? Is this a business card or something like that? Ah, there's also masks in it. This mask. I don't usually use masks, but. Yeah. I usually put them on eBay for a euro. People buy them. People that... Well, I have problems with my hands sometimes too, but some people have a really bad problem when they can't paint without masks. So, so you can see you have one, two, three, four, five, six trees of gray plastic. You have the masks, you have a tree of photo etch, uh, Tree of clear plastic with the canopies and everything done site and the decals. Step one, you start uh, with assembly of the cockpit, which is you know pretty much normal in jet craft. You have you have the bulkhead. There's a couple different parts with the landing gear wheels and everything. Here's the main landing gear, the front landing gear, the engine. Engine, this is all engine here. Cowling. I'm putting the, uh... Okay, this, uh, here's the guns. And you put this... You put the cockpit in, cruises together. There's an assembly here for the wheel, I think. Looks like this part might be the air intake here on the bottom. It has separate pieces for the landing gear wet, landing gear bays. Here you put the fuselage onto the uh, onto the wings assembly. Vertical, horno, vertical and horizontal stabilizers, the engine and cowling assembly. Yeah, and here's that part. Yeah, it's like the air intake that goes underneath there. Something around here in the back, I'm not sure what it is. Put the propeller on, the canopy's here. And here's some little details around the back. Put the, the tail wheel on and everything. Then here we have. Let's see. This version is in aluminum. U.S. Air Force 1941. Doesn't say what unit, but it has the Indian head, so I think that's probably escort for the 305th or so. This is a P-43A. From the 55th Pursuit Group, Portland Air Force Air Base. 
January 1942. And this is an olive drab and gray. Here we also have olive drab and gray from the U.S. Air Force. 1942. P-43A from the Air Well, it doesn't say. But with the colors, it's probably Air Force 1943. But it says U.S. Air Force. It's not right. U.S. Air Force didn't exist until 1946. It's the U.S. Army Air Corps until 1946. Then it was U.S. Air Force. But it's just a small detail. The instructions look pretty good. They're kind of crammed together a little bit, but shouldn't be that dif difficult to. Uh, it won't be that difficult. I built the other one. I didn't have the problem. So now we can take a look at the parts here. We'll just go in the order that they're here. Here on the first tree, you have the bottom of the wing. It has some good and great detail. I'm not sure what here is. The flash. Yep, we have some flash here along the trailing edge, but it looks like it'll be easy to clean up. No, no major problem. I can take it off with my fingernail. Little, little light sanding should get rid of it. Little flash there. There's also a little flash here along these small parts here. But it has nice and great detail. It has some nice detail in it. Um, I think this is the uh, here's the flaps along with the tops of the wings. Here I don't see any any flash. Um, it has some nice detail here into the flaps too. And the lines, the wings are the same. And the plastic has kind of a rough look to it. It's not so smooth, but once you paint it, it won't be seen. And here's the cowling. It looks nice. Inside of the wheel wheels, mm, I don't know. I think there might be some some of the small details missing from there. It does have the uh, the texture in here for the where the wheels go. Here is the piece on the goes on the bottom, and there's a lot of flash around it. Here are the wheels, the gear, gear bay doors, they look, they look nice. And have the attachments here for the wheels. This is the back piece for the seat. And you can see it has a cushion that goes to it. The floor of the cockpit, not a lot of detail in there. There's a couple small details here. Maybe the rest, maybe there's not much. Or maybe. Photo edge. Here we have the engine. Piston rods come separately on two small trees. And then two rows of pistons. Here's the. Uh, Ignition ring, I think it's called. 
And here's the hub. Has a nice looking starter on it too. I think this is the starter on the top. Um, the engine looks good. The flaps look good too. Here, the hub for the the for the horizontal st the vertical stabilizer here. These are the horizontals. Control stick. Some handles, control stick and stuff. Supports. The wheels look pretty decent. They have some good detail there. The bolts and everything. And they're in, they're they're halves, so you probably have to sand around it to get it smooth. Here's uh, there is some good detail on the things, but it's you can add some little wires and stuff, so it has some cables in the cockpit, the cables that run from front to back and stuff. The landing gear looks good. Here's some more big area of flash here, in both it's part of the landing gear. You need the struts to go on the bottom. Some more struts require some cleanup. These are these the these uh actuate no those are actuators. What are these called? These little little A frames that go into the into the uh, landing gear base. Some other small detail parts here. It looks like it's pretty detailed. There's not much detail here because it's on the panels. Even though I would probably scratch build a little bit, like the cables and hoses and stuff. Those are often not included. Here's a firewall. Here is the cockpit. Uh, the instrument panel. This is a weird shaped instrument panel. Usually they're more half moon shaped. And this one looks it's thinner and taller than what you usually see on aircraft. It has nice little bolts and stuff, rivets, bolts, whatever they are. And some of the parts, like here you can see it, here you can see it. Yeah. Looks pretty nice. The parts look pretty nice. There's some flash on it, but that's don't I don't find that so big of a problem. Okay, now uh, here is a big problem. I mean, it can be fixed. The uh, the canopy is not so clear. It's pretty thick. It's gonna need some polishing. Gonna need a lot of polishing, maybe. Um, I think the canopy on the MB141 was better. This one looks pretty. Not so pretty. There's a lot of you can see the mold. There's lines in it from the molding. Not very pretty. Uh, let's take a look here at the photo etch. A small tree. Okay, so you have a panel here for the uh, the panel for the for the instrument panel. You have the seat belts. A couple of grills, it looks like. And these would look like part of the flaps. I'm not sure what that is. But seat belts. That's always nice. That's a lot of Kits that don't come with seat belts. Where to watch your otherwise? I find seat belts on. A, well, there's also a, a decal for the instrument panel, so you have a choice here. I would probably. I don't know what I go for. I have to decide when I build it. So, all in all, I think it's a nice looking kit. I'm not sure about the exhaust. I didn't see. 
really any exhaust there. So I really didn't see any exhaust. I'm not sure if the exhaust is these little slits here. If they are, then it should be, you know, a little bit blacker than the exhaust. And there's also, uh, over here, could be also... I'm not really familiar with this aircraft. Usually the exhaust is here on the back, on the sides. Or here, somewhere around here. So I would think these two slots are probably the exhaust. But it's not really that, uh, you can't really see it that well on the picture. I think that's a pretty, pretty good looking kit. It's not quite as good as the Marcel Pla AMB 151 that I built. I think this one is a little bit, it has a little bit more flash on it. The cockpit doesn't look, I mean the canopy doesn't look as good. But the decals are good. Oh no, I think it looks pretty good. Uh, so I would recommend this kit from Dora Wings. So 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 far, this is the second kit <coughs> from Dora Wings that I have, and they seem to be pretty good company. So next time will be another built kit review. This will be a Bell H13. Um, uh, unlike most of my aircraft, this is a 135 scale, because I could not find one in 148 scale. Um, this is the helicopter that uses MASH. If anybody, for you, that's familiar with MASH, it's one of my favorite series. And I, I had to build this just because it's cool. And, it's, and I think it's a pretty good series. And it's, they, it was a really... One of the first effective helicopters we had. They used it for gunships, they used it for med uh, medevac, and scouting and stuff in, in Korea. So, I want to uh, show, show it. And, 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 um, yeah. So, please like and subscribe and hit that bell for notifications on my new videos. Until next time.